Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and here is a game on top lane against uh, Riven again, it seems. I'm playing with Exhaust because Riven. And I'm trying, I'm going to try to give some tips against her and in this matchup how to do, how to do better. Now, when she tries to go for these minions, you punish like this. See? Half HP. <laughs> okay. That's the first lesson you gotta remember. Okay? Now, the second lesson is that only at level 3 you can get kills. Because, well, in Diamond, people are not that dumb to fight you. Or maybe they are. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, find another opportunity to hit your Q on him. Also get as many CS as possible. Remember that listen lesson 3 remember that their jungler might come especially when you're top lane You have a much wider area to cover Oh Now I'm not dead am I? See, I have 14 CS and look at that minion wave, there is no freaking way he will catch me in CS. Unless I fuck up gloriously. So till now you have to poke when he goes for the little minions, you have to... You have to dodge ganks. That's, that's two lessons, I said one more but I can't remember. Oh come on! You have to learn how to farm, that's for me too, that's mostly for me because it seems that I'm the worst farmer in the history of agriculture would welcome me but not really. Now, I'm not gonna fight him until I get the exhaust again back up and it makes sense. But Ooh. See, you also have to have reflexes like that. I, I can't even tell you how I. I just do go back to because I always on top lane, especially on top lane, I always go for the hextage GLP. That's lesson number four, I guess. Why is that, you ask? Well, because you need to be tanky because. Technically, you're not a top laner, and top laner usually, top laners usually are off tankish, or at least they take some kind of damage in the team fight. So, obviously, you're going to have to be a little tanky, and HP does the job most of the time. I was used to be scared by them, by the ribbons, by the by the whole a whole big population of top laners a whole lot of but now I just play overly aggressive Irelia however you can't beat Irelia even if you kill her once or twice I'm going oh my fucking god Irelia usually will shit on you will rip off your heart in dreams you can't do jack shit to her Now, oh, I see, listen. Now, I can go for the kill now. You see what? Why? The only problem is that. Uh, oh, I see Kasselin. Now, play ridiculously aggressive. She will try to go for the minions. Let her. Okay, take. You can take all the minions you want. Or you're just going to lose most of them. No, I'm not going to let her recall. She's not dumb enough to jump on me. I have exhaust. See? See what I mean? I was even in tower and she had no time to do anything. She just dashed through my E. Unless you're fucking dumb, you should get the kill by that point. Like, 
I did nothing to get the kill, just put a good E and Q. <laughs> and now I've won my lane. I have 20, I have, I will have like 5 CS advantage after this wave. But still, I have my advantage, I will have flash in 40 seconds, and I will also fight her when I have it goes back up. No other way. I can barely breathe though. I still have a cold. <coughs> so, this is why I think this whole game is why I think Talia is somehow viable on top lane. And I find myself more useful on top lane rather than mid lately. I don't know why. Maybe simply because of this or maybe because I understood what I have to do on top lane more than on mid. And they popped as usual. I failed there with that W. I don't know why I'm used to the old Warwick Ultimate. I thought it's longer than that. And this was all my fault. Okay? This was not a fault because I'm a because Talia is bad. It's this was a fault because I am bad with Talia at that point. At certain point, holy shit, that level difference echo is bad. Man. You don't have to go near her now. You don't have exhaust, you don't have flash. As a Talia, you always have to keep this spell in check now. Jungler also wants to come. Our trash team comp deals very well. I can go there. I can turn a 4 vs 4 into a 5 vs 4. Um, if the result doesn't matter, he's killing him. What? Deathly killed you both? Okay. Just because I wanted to make this small tutorial video. Jump, jump, jump. Well played. What I find funny is that, oh, come on. Now this thing has no fucking way of stealing this. I'll make sure of that. Nice. 
Well, this is what happens when good players unite. Not me though. <laughs> I'm going to stop. Well, we won. The purpose as a top laner is the same as a mid laner, but you have to push your top laner, then you have to actually gank. Like it's a rule. You don't you're not allowed to roam when he's on top lane and full HP and can push him, you know? Because he will take your tower, you're not allowed to let your tower <laughs> that note. Got him. Holy fuck. I should start playing Xenia support, honestly. Now, what I like most is that if Ruben comes, he will instantly, simply exhaust her. Stupid things go! Oh my fucking god! I still did like 80% HP. Yeah, I was like in HP and we still killed them all. Seems like I'm not in that luck. Congrats, mate, you died. Now I feel bad for this guy. Look at his score, I mean. <laughs> I'll man this shit up. They are fucking hungry. <laughs> okay. Um guys. I'm going to wait exactly here. Mm, come on. Give me something. Not a ribbon though. Uh, I want to fight her. I want to one versus one her. Just need a little bit of outplay. Problem is that casting is coming, so I have to note the fuck out. Well, one for one. Good game, boys. So that was it, that's how you do to Leah top lane. I think I think I found some useful tips in this video that could help you and yeah. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.